For consistent pedal throw and clutch feel, setting a pedal stop is an essential but simple part of installing a hydraulic clutch release bearing. For release bearings without an internal stop, this process is especially critical. Failing to set a pedal stop will inevitably lead to clutch, bearing, and transmission damage. Before setting the stop, bleed the clutch system to remove any trapped air. Only very light pedal force is required when bleeding is done correctly. Do not attempt to release the clutch before the pedal stop has been set. Once the fluid runs clear with no bubbles and the bleeder screw is closed, you're ready to set the pedal stop. With the drive wheels off the ground, put the transmission in first gear without pressing on the clutch pedal and attempt to rotate the wheels. Slowly depress the clutch pedal until the clutch disengages and the wheels can be turned. Don't push it any further. Hold it there. Make a note of the clutch pedal position and adjust the pedal stop to allow an additional quarter inch of travel, as measured at the tip of the pedal, not the stop itself. It will only require a turn or two of the stop bolt. This will properly establish the clutch throw limit. Tighten the jam nut or other locking device to secure the pedal stop in place and prevent it from moving due to vibration. For more information about Tilton Engineering's complete line of high-performance hydraulic components, visit TiltonRacing.com or call our experts at 805-688-2353.